Hello everyone, spring is finally back, which means galaxy season is finally back. All the galaxies of Virgo, Ursa Major, and all those constellations are finally back out and are out almost all night, which means we can collect a good amount of useful data on these just beautiful distant galaxies. The galaxy I'm shooting tonight is M106, which is a beautiful spiral galaxy in Ursa Major with really nice surrounding galaxies, which I think is going to make the image look super cool. I don't plan on centering the galaxy perfectly because I want to get the galaxies that surround it, which means I'm going to do kind of some off-centering things, but I still think this image is going to look great and I think I have a good composition in mind. And everyone, with spring arising, this also means that the Milky Way core is going to be creeping up on us here soon. And it's already kind of imageable in the pre-dawn hours, but you can't really get a lot of data on it. But here in the next couple months, it's going to become really imageable again, and I am super excited for that. But yes, all the trees are blooming, all the flowers are blooming, everything like that's happening. Spring is finally back, warm weather is here again, and I am just so excited. I don't know why, but the scope was just completely out of collimation, but I got that taken care of. So hopefully we should be getting good collimation and get those nice crisp stars. I don't know what happened, but it was a good thing we got it fixed. Anyway, it is finally sunset now. I have everything set up and we're pretty much ready to go for uh, when it gets dark. And also, tonight is the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, which I'm pretty excited to see. Well, it's one of the nights. Tomorrow's like the best night, but I think it's going to be a bit cloudy tomorrow, so... The best for where I am will be tonight, which I am quite excited to see. I don't, I don't think I see Venus or anything yet, but it should be just a few minutes until I do. I'm about to get polar aligned. And we should be up in imaging here pretty soon. There it goes. And it's going to plate solve after it takes every single image and update me on how my polar alignment is after every adjustment. If you look here, I'm 30 arc minutes by 19 arc seconds off. So I still got a little bit more of a polar alignment I need to do. I need to try to get sub arc minutes. We finished with a sub arc minute polar alignment which is fantastic and now we're slowing back to the home position we're going to get all of nice and focused up and uh, point it towards our target in imaging our targets there's the conjunction of venus and jupiter absolutely gorgeous unfortunately we have a bit of a moon to deal with which is kind of annoying but uh Oh well. <laughs> I got the guide calibration going. We are about to start imaging and we will be imaging M106, which is a beautiful galaxy in Ursa Major. I think this image is going to be awesome. I already this galaxy season shot M100, the Whirlpool Galaxy, and the Crocside Galaxy, which are all images I'm super happy with. Except kind of the Whirlpool. The Whirlpool I do like, but I think it was really a lack of integration because it was a full moon and I was just kind of messing around that night. But the image still came out nice. All right, I got all the data. I processed it, and I am super happy with how this image came out. I think it is genuinely one of my best images. I absolutely love this target now. And the funny thing is, is I didn't even want to shoot it at the start of the night. I was kind of like, ah, eh, I don't know about this target. Maybe I should shoot something else. But I guess it was a really good idea to still shoot it, because I absolutely love this image, and I'm extremely happy with it, and I can't wait for you guys to see. So let's get into the image reveal. Thank you. 